Most black holes start life with the death of a giant star. When the star collapses, it all gets blown out in the most violent fireworks in the universe, a supernova, the explosion of a star, which shines briefly with the brightness of 10 billion stars. Then, gravity seizes control of the star's core. A star is already crushing itself down under gravity, but what stops it is the pressure of the light coming out of it. So if a star can no longer produce that light, it's gonna crush itself down. And it'll get smaller and smaller and smaller until finally, no force can hold it up and it just crushes it on itself. Gravity pulls every speck of matter inwards, crushing lumps of solid iron the size of Mount Everest down to the size of grains of sand. You think about solid matter as being something that's so solid, so strong that it can't compress anymore. Think of iron. But really, iron is mostly space. The space between the protons and neutrons at the core of that iron atom is huge. So at some point, for some stars, the compression is so large that you can end up smashing these core uh, neutrons and protons together. What happens next is a mystery. Gravity squeezes these subatomic particles together in ways that science simply can't explain. The inside of a collapsing star is unimaginable. There are temperatures and pressures that we don't really even have very good numbers for. We know for a fact that we will need new physics, things that we have not yet discovered, to explain what goes on inside a black hole. The massive star crushes down until it's a fraction of its former size. But the star's original gravity remains, creating a gravitational field so strong, nothing can escape it. The result is a black hole.